I didn't feel so happy. I know other people are happy about being pregnant, but I was not happy. I was sad. Not eating, not sleeping nicely. You, you are alone. When you're pregnant, yo, you are alone. Everybody is talking like you did it to yourself. You, you don't have anybody when you're pregnant. Everybody just turn their backs on you. Within their homes, there's the drug abuse, there's violence. You, they come from areas where there's lots of crime within the area, so they are always being intimidated. By US and European standards, these are women who are living well below the breadline, surviving on less than a couple of dollars per week. Um, these are the women who are most likely to develop distress and depression during pregnancy and postnatally. These are the women who are also least able to actually access mental health services for various reasons. Reasons that can be as simple as the fact that they don't have a transport Many money. of the um, pregnancies that we see, particularly in the public health service, are, are teenagers. They've also got a high risk of being HIV positive. So there's a um, a huge I feel bad stress. Because, and then I felt guilty because I didn't plan the pregnancy. The, the worst part, I didn't plan it. And then I was angry to everyone. It is difficult because they don't understand you they, and they don't listen. The worst part, they don't listen. They didn't have friends at that time, just sitting alone. There is things that you can't talk to with, with your family. There is things because they don't have that, the, the ear to listen, they don't listen. At Mowbray Maternity Hospital, our project screens all women without medical complications. The social work service addresses the needs of other women at the hospital. And often it is masked. Often only when we hand out um, questionnaires to screen for depression, or a risk for depression, do these issues come up? Before I met the, the counsellors, um, it was bad. It was bad, really bad. So you have so many options in mind. Maybe you, you want to you take your own life. They're given screening questionnaires at their first or second visit. And these are questions that ask them about the way they are feeling and this picks up aspects of depression, symptoms of depression and anxiety. The nurses give me the form and then uh, I read the form. I read, I read, I read. And then I say, okay, fine, I'm gonna fill in. I wanted to fill in the form so I can see the, the person. I know it's strange to talk to the stranger, but it's feel safe sometimes. So that by the time their babies are born, they're much more able to cope and you don't have these issues of mothers who are neglecting babies, abandoning babies, possibly abusing babies. This session helps me because I, you talk to somebody you don't know. I can say it's a stranger, you just talk to somebody you don't know. And then she makes you feel safe, feel, just makes you feel safe. And then it helps, I feel. I feel better when I talk to her and then she was supportive, taking the positive sides, not just the negative sides. There is so many people every day getting pregnant and then getting depressed, get, get wants to go to the counsellors, but there is no counsellors, maybe like me, I stay in Kailija and no, there is no counsellors there. So I was lucky because uh, I have my clinic in Mowbray. The majority really believe that the service should be available to all women who are pregnant. They should have access to counselling and psychiatry services during their pregnancy. So that's a long-term goal. Ideally, we would like every single woman in South Africa to be able to access mental health services at the same time as they are accessing services for their pregnancy and services for their child care. In my ideal world, we need a perinatal mental health care project at every midwife obstetric unit or antenatal clinic within the South African healthcare system. Maybe uh, if I didn't mean to, maybe oh, I wouldn't be here, I can say so. I wouldn't be here because I have some 
the, the depression makes me to maybe to commit suicide. I think you made me see those positive sides. I can say so. Yes, I can say so. You make you you the one who makes me to see the positive sides. I'm here now. I'm fine because I know I have you on my side. I'm very proud to be a mom, a working mom. Yes. I was so proud to be a mom. Yes, yes. <laughs>